Ah, so you're finally awake. Oh my Wrong god. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game. Ah, so you're still on the loading speed. <laughs> no. Okay, now yes. we're good. Skip! Oh, we can't skip this. Yeah, we can. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm not gonna skip it. Run! Skip. Oh. <laughs> Nobody, well, nobody else skipped. Okay, well I'm talking to the tadpole pool. <laughs> All I hear is a bunch of squishing everywhere. I blew up the thing. You ready? Yes. Aye, aye, Captain. It'd be cool if you could, like, play, well, I guess if they made, like, extra DLC or something like that where you could be mind flayers or these devil creatures or something. Are you saying that, uh, it'd be cool if they made a DLC that allowed us to, well, there won't be a DLC, but there may be a mod, at least. Uh, I don't think they're making any more DLC. At least Larian, I don't believe, is making any more DLCs for this game. Are we getting loot, or are we just going straight for... We are going... We need the going... sword, right? We technically don't need the sword, but we need the experience. So we need him to drop the sword, somebody to pick it up. And then we just need to beat on him and see if we can kill him. Yeah, okay. Anything we kill just adds to our experience for the road ahead. Yeah, so I'll get the boar and then... Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to go up over here. And get start getting close so I can actually. Hey, before pick up the oh man, I was gonna say before you leave that intellect devourer behind you, we could probably try to get some of these brains. Oh, I can, I can do that. If they even have brains, I don't know if. Should I give someone a vertical inspiration? Uh. Anybody want one? You want one? To give the mind flayer one. You know what? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yes, he is distracting the biggest threat in the room. Now, that is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let me see. These hellbores seem to not be resistant to fire, so let us burn. Burn, baby, burn. We're killing everybody. Burn, baby, burn. And as you suggested, it was... Let's see. There are no brains on these brains. Tragic. Tragic! But there is some armor and some weapon on this one, so... Well, you got that, at least. No, no. <clears throat> I am not a fan of the, <laughs> the actions melee. happening. <laughs> so, Shiro, if you would be so kind. Thank awesome. you very much. And I cannot make it to him. Kingdom, can you get command off on the commander result mm. to drop? Not this Yeah, turn. when I get closer. I'm here, buddy. What's up? I can't reach anybody. Am 
Well, that's dagger. Take it. Uh, oh yeah, I'll take that out of this. And uh, let me just. Um, hmm. Nah. Good job. Bubble guppy. Uh, I'm surprised that did. All seven. right, no, somebody knocked Tashiro off. <laughs> We're not alone. I can't do it this turn, so I'll do it next turn. Oh, he already has Bardic Inspiration. He didn't use it last turn. Right. Beat him up. Nice. All right. Just because we do not need to take any unnecessary risks. Um, I think I will. Is this Cambion resistant to fire? It is. Then I suppose I will have to draw upon darker as you choose. Unfortunately, it, uh, he is quite agile. And the Mind Flayer... Is absolutely being dunked. Yes, it seems that our... Protector might not be protecting much longer, so it may be advised to just go ahead. If, uh... Spectre, if you can command him to drop it, I can grab it while I'm right here. I ain't Spectre no more, but yeah. Oh, you'll always be Spectre to me. Oh, well, that sucks. Indeed. I could try to topple him and knock him prone. That uh, wouldn't do anything good for getting the sword. Well, at least he won't, won't attack. Oh. Whoop. Whoopa. Interesting. So, if... I don't think I'm used to seeing uh, the Mind Flayer direct us. So, are we fighting Zalk, or do we need to just go? You can try to attempt to command the sword, and uh, I should have another spell slot to try to do so um, one more time. Pick it up. Which Otherwise, two? one more turn cycle. Yeah. Otherwise, we need to book it because we're gonna have some company soon. Being in Avernus. Yeah. Let me give you a. Now that you're in melee combat. Being minimized itself, that's fine. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Alright. While I admire such tenacity, I don't think you will be left him much longer. And other news, however. It does not seem I have the range to reach over there, so I might as well assist here. Unfortunate. Now. Okay. Alright. This last attempt, and we need to book it. Well, my truth. Command drop. <laughs> Please. Is there an achievement for killing him? There is. Yay. But I do not suggest it on honor mode. Pick up the sword, yep, and disengage. Yeah. Ah! Can I get all the way there? I provoke opportunity attack. Uh... But wait, now that he's unarmed, would he not would we not be able to do better? Oh, yes, we would, but it's not just him we would have to worry about. No, it's not. Well, the other two guys that we can one or two shot. 
Not quite. But it is okay. Scourge has reached their destination. And so the Dark Earth died. Well, it is time to start another run. Wouldn't that be some shit? We die in the tutorial. There's been a ton of people that did on honor mode. But I also oh, think they attempted fate. Yeah, they probably stayed to fight the Cambians. Or, more embarrassingly, they might have died on a solo attempt because they told Blazel to screw off. Yeah, that'd be funny. At the imps. Yeah, I'd Wait, like where to was actually... Lysel? Oh, they found their own ways off the ship. Huh. Yeah, I've... it's cool to revisit all these cutscenes with our new characters, so I'm not going to be skipping them. So that's not the Emperor, is it? Nope. No. That is. I guess there's no technical spoiler alerts anymore other than the Dark Urge aspect of things. Yeah. Except for people maybe watching you. you approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. You're not covered in blood anymore. I'm not. Yes, yeah, touch the in a pool of water. Fascinating. <laughs> yes. This branch of flesh is begging to be pruned, and its sap sucked from. My mistress' eyelids stop. Cease, you loo. As oh, soon as the dreams cross the threshold oh. of your imagination, you snap back oh. to realize they have all come true. <laughs> you know, when I, I believe... Through you. <laughs> you were dazed on the Nautiloid, but now you are truly awake. Alive. Amazing. Hey, hello to Gail, everybody. Well... One Not hand quite game. what I expected, but... I was like, oh, I you're just going to imagine it. And then, you know, it wasn't an imagination. Nope. But I suppose uh, there's no turning back. You got Perhaps. Gail's severed hand in your inventory. Amazing. Yep. <laughs> How about you go interact with that killer? You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only... Kingdom, you may need to bequeath Compassion. upon him some guidance. Compassion. Yes, you 
reveal hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. We should nah. level up already. We should head this way, explore the outer reaches of this vessel. Uh, yes. I'm stopping. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm trying, you guys. I swear. Uh, I saw him. I'm like, nope. I've got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Eat his brain. Hmm. Option two, right, buddy? Oh, I'm sorting stuff right now. Um, wait a second. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Well, my strength roll is not good, so. You seem the more agile type. We are here to help if things escalate too much, but it well, is quite entertaining to see what you are capable of. I must say, quite impressed. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You arrogant little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things in some way. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. The strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Turn us into... <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, obviously I would, but you have so many followers already. I don't want to crowd you. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. 
All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. As he leaves, you're flooded with visions of a perfect, pretty corpse. <laughs> nice. Oh, up ahead, I see a cage. I don't need any attention right now. Do we want to do this? Oh, you're already done. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to- Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Under elf. Play time, I miss her. Oh, well. Mm. Perfect. Perhaps we can avoid combat for now. Well, as long as I don't get in that one. Sometimes a tongue sharp as steel is better than the sword itself. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. How about you say please, get the Yankee? Never. No, stop hiding. Okay. No, I don't have anything to hide. I didn't mean to. Con I didn't mean to attempt to hide four times. Perhaps oh, scourge, if you wish to blend in amongst these dwellers of this space, disguising your appearance as they seem shocked at your under elf heritage might be smart. Yeah, Do we want to free her, or is she not gonna say please, so we're gonna leave her? <laughs> More bodies to put in front of us would probably be helpful in the trials ahead. <laughs> so, uh, I will allow you to make that choice, Tiefling. Almost. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it could. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Um. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. And giggle at our gaseous giggle meisters. Make space, and my might is yours. Yes, indeed. Well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. We will proceed to keep her waiting. Yes. You will wait at our camp now? Forever! Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! His hair is more gray than I remember. He's older now that it's on him. Open the gates!
of mine! Damnable roach. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. Hey, I was in stealth. Hmm. I'm just seeing that we have been spotted. Though this defense that these tieflings have do prove does prove to be quite a fortification. <laughs> these goblin forces might be worth Let's looking into as potential allies as well. Nice! Yeah, quite a skilled use of that spell. Uh. Indeed. Mm. Wait, who are you frenzing with? Oh, the the gnome or oh, those people. The, okay. Yeah. I wasn't in that cutscene till the end, so I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> Let's see who I can see from this perch up high. Hmm. No need to waste valuable resources. So I will just assist as needed. A graze? Not ideal, but I am not worried. I think this is the only combat in the entire game that we actually have Will fighting with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a four-player co-op, that is true. Might I suggest we do enlist what seems to be that warlock over there? Perhaps there may be some interesting knowledge and power that he may have to offer in exchange to whatever tasks or assistance he may have to offer. Hey, she's not running perpetually into the gate this time. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> what? Nice. Nice. Hmm. It might be best to get rid of that goblin spellcaster. Quite unpredictable. And it is now blinded. <laughs> yes. Allow me to do the rest. Nice. Whack! Oh, crit! And a kick in the ass! Oh. Close. Disadvantage, hmm. outside normal range. Blinded. Oh, that's good. Pretty sick. There's. Very well. 
Let's see. Let's assist with this warg. Hmm. Or not. Wait, what's giving us the bonus HP? Oh, the rally. The rally, yeah. Yes. Indeed. I suppose I could have done the beak attack, but it just blinded. So. Perhaps Zevlor will take care of that. Yes. You're doing a great job, Zakrug. Nice. All I heard was, like, no, I didn't hear any effect, and I just heard, listen, you! That's funny. Uh, I wish I could not provoke opportunity, but... I don't know if it's worth trying to do it or not. Oh, well. This is... That's a sturdy warg. It seems that the Nautiloid crash has addled my sense. Oh my god, I just realized I've been going first in initiative too. Oh wow. Nice! Wow. Question is, is that a good thing? Rats. I mean, no one can hit that stupid warg. Yeah. Seems that its hide is quite thick, or its movements are quite swift. So, goblin boss or warg? Whichever you believe that you'll have the best of luck with. 
Well, the warg's got three on him. I'm gonna go help this. Zarug's got... Zakrug has got two, three, if you can hit him. This will be me. Nice. Is that not a spell slot you're using every time? And that's a, that's a cantrip. cantrip. Oh, wow. Its maximum damage is four, so... It's useful at low levels, though, especially. Absolutely. Especially giving disadvantage on its next attack roll. Mm -hmm. That's much better. I can't tell if this is going to hit one of the good guys or not. I would not risk it for if we make enemies with them, that could be our own demise. I'm trying to help every I want all of these to survive, but I should be able to get the work this turn. If we can get that, I'll focus the bugbear. Come on, Will. Okay. Um I think it's, it's fine. I can probably get the work or that. There you go. Broke his snout. You enjoying Monk? So far. Yeah, it's a, it's a good class. It's like in Boulder Skate, especially, it's a really good class. Yeah, so, I, was, I was looking at. Uh... Some videos on them and just this several people that i watched were saying this is by far the best class in baldur's gate that was the last of them Inside, yeah and they give you a follow. ton of equipment Open for it i gave you the everburn blade i forgot to give you that you let them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable i don't know if you can use great weapons or not but that's the sword that the flaming sword I had that I carried through probably 70% of the campaign. Yeah, but you were. You gave it to me? Yeah. You're the only one okay, that can use it. Okay, I'll see it. if I can use it. Or okay. capable enough to use it, mm. I should say. I don't want to use friends here. No. Since we may be here a while, we do not want them to detect any magical influence. Okay, let's see if I can make a 10. If not, I would not worry. I did not. I would let it be. Yeah, I have to. We don't have any inspiration. I actually think we do, but oh, I will let inspired. it be. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foulbloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. Perhaps 
but making them believe that we mean well would be the best course of action. That is the second attempt. Okay. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. We did kill all the ones that were there, you know? 